when you exit film school, you can feel like, okay, where, what? That's not happening. Why isn't it happening? Hi, I'm Christopher Cox, formerly known as Sia Cox 97 the Nerf God, and today I'm going over more film advice. This time around, I'm giving advice about post-graduation life, when you get out of film school. It is based on this comment from my first video, going over five tips for first-timers, and I think it's a very good question. It is something that, if you go to film school and you get out of it, you're going to run into a lot. It is a very weird feeling when you graduate college and you have a film degree and you're entering the real world. and things are different. So without further ado, let's jump into my advice about post-graduation life. <laughs> Tip number one, rules are different now. You're not a student filmmaker anymore. You're a filmmaker, indie filmmaker, whatever you want to call yourself. But yeah, people are going to treat you differently. You, they're not going to see you as like a teenager, like, oh, he's still in school. Like, no, no, you, you have to pay things with your own money. People aren't going to do you as many favors. You have to be a professional. You have to present yourself as such. So you can't lean on taking things easy because, oh, I'm still learning. I mean, the secret is we're all still learning, but uh, the label's gone, so. <laughs> and with that, of course, also comes a lot of new rules and regulations. You have to follow the law. You, you, I mean, they crack down on safety and stuff, and really, like, it, it gets difficult shooting in places. Action? Remember I used to do action films all the time? Yeah, I don't do that anymore because uh, uh, there are so many rules. You gotta hire so many different people, stunt coordinators, safety people, just to, it's a lot. And so, yeah, it, it, things are different, and uh, it's gonna kind of get harder, but you gotta upgrade yourself. You gotta get somewhere at some point. So you're graduated now. You've taken that first step. <laughs> Tip number two, collaborate. Film is a collaborative medium. You need to get to know people. You need to network. You need to get out there. You need to keep relationships that you made in film school because that's really what film school was, is an area, a place where you got to play around with the toys, hopefully the fancy equipment. You had access to that and you met people, you met other students who were passionate, you learned from teachers who know what they're doing, but now you're out in the world. So, okay, sure, but they're still there. They still probably want to do film, the teachers and of course the students, they graduated, so work together, collaborate, get out there, get on sets, you gotta keep going. Uh, film school, unfortunately, doesn't really set you up, you know, it's not like, okay, we immediately have a job for you. It's, no, you gotta do it yourself, you gotta, and the easiest way to do that is to collaborate because you will get most of your jobs from the people that you know because that's how it goes the word of mouth you meet someone and they go oh you should totally hire this guy to be the gaffer i've worked with him tons of times he's great or oh you should totally hire her she's an amazing makeup artist she'll do this and it's like i mean yeah way easier than me looking around for myself but if you don't know anyone and you don't know anyone from school who still wants to do it or whatever, then go to online places. I mean, there's Facebook groups. I personally found a lot of my cast and crew through Backstage. That's my favorite website. There's also Actors Access or Breakdown Express is another term for it, another like label. Uh, but yeah, there's all kinds of websites where you can look to meet other people and hire others. And yeah, you gotta collaborate. You keep the good people close. Tip number three, you're gonna need money, you're gonna need to get a job, so work in your field. A lot of people that graduate film school don't end up working in the film world, funny enough. It's weird, but it takes a lot of passion and drive to really make it happen. I know a lot of students that stay in the film world, they end up um, freelancing. And so what freelancing is, is you're your own boss, which is nice, but you're just taking any gig that you can. Okay, I'm gonna be the DP for this, or I'm just gonna grip on this set. And that's a great way to meet people for sure that's definitely you know it's still a good thing to do that but what I've also observed is there's not a lot of comfort and safety net with freelancing you technically are always on the clock like if you get a text like hey can you come to this set tomorrow I'll pay you 200 bucks like it's up to you to decide whether or not you're gonna do that like oh I it's I'm not gonna get a lot of sleep and I wanted to hang out with a friend but I need money, so, uh, sorry friend, but I, I just got a gig, I'm sorry, you know, things happen, and that, that's sort of the freelancing life. I personally haven't done the freelancing life too much, I've ended up uh, sticking with sort of just full-time gigs, and what I've been lucky to get, and what I think is the most likely, is videographer positions. If you go on places like LinkedIn or Indeed and other places, you, you will find a lot of jobs that are videographer positions, especially with marketing. That's where, you know, you have corporations, you have companies that aren't film-related, but 
but they need video people. And what's really nice when you get those kinds of jobs is uh, people don't really understand video, honestly. Like uh, the, the people who aren't film people, they kind of look at you like, well, you're the film guy. Yeah, okay, yeah, I don't, I don't know how you do that. Oh man, that's amazing. That's the fun part when you get a videographer position. Uh, also editing, uh, it's every job with a videographer is also usually editing as well. So if you want to stay in the film world, maybe film adjacent, but have that comfort of you have a full-time job, you don't have to worry about you know working late nights and stuff, and instead you have more time, hopefully, you have time to work on other things on the side. That's where I personally recommend a full-time job with that. Uh, but the negative of that full-time job is you're probably not gonna be meeting the right people because you wanna be meeting film people. Full-time jobs, very often, you're the film person, so. Tip number four, keep the passion alive. Now, I just went over freelancing and full-time jobs, but both of these are applicable. With freelancing, sure, you're on film sets, but a lot of times I witness people get really dragged down with just the endless cycle of working on these gigs and like, oh, sorry, I'm busy. Oh, sorry, I'm busy. And it's like, you seem tired and stressed constantly. And, and I don't know, like sometimes I, I feel like people lose their passion a bit or they lose the time to work on their passion because I, I feel like a lot of us, uh, you know, when we first start out wanting to do film, the passion comes from our own ideas. Uh, but when you're freelancing so much and you're working on other people's sets, a lot of times that time spent with your ideas is taken away, which maybe that's it. Because also everyone wants to be a director when they first start out, that's how it goes. But most people don't end up being directors because it's a very difficult job and you have to be very self-motivated and be in charge of a lot. And it's just, it's a lot. Also requires a lot of money to make films, but you can lose that passion. And then of course with full-time gigs you know you're not really in the film world and very likely you are a little overqualified for the position that you have because the videos that you're editing probably aren't super complicated unless you're in an editing house and that's way better that's definitely a better full-time gig but you know yeah you can lose that passion you can kind of get a uh, uh, the monotony okay I'm in my office gig or I'm working from home and I'm doing this and making money and then you just lose that motivation but no keep the passion alive keep your ideas flowing keep the creativity going because you could get stuck in a creative you know rut because you're not actually thinking of new things you're just doing the same thing over and over again so it's important to work on your side stuff you know make a fiver gig or something something where you still keep your skills going you're still learning you're still growing as your personal filmmaker while paying the bills with the other stuff and we arrive at my final piece of advice and this comes from a question that someone posted on my first film advice video for first timers and uh, the advice is don't get discouraged I think a lot of us are very excited to enter the film world and we think film school was that answer. And I think this extends for a lot of people. I think society kind of builds us up and see, sees college as the answer. You need to graduate because then it'll all arrive. But for a lot of us who have already gone through graduating college, we learn that's not the real world. Just because you have a diploma doesn't mean you're automatically gonna get a gig. And unfortunately, when it comes to film, that's even more so. Film is a club. It's really just the people you know. You gotta network, you gotta meet people. And if you're not doing that, and you don't know how to do that, or you have really bad social anxiety and you struggle with those things, when you exit film school, you can feel like, okay, where, what? It's not happening, why isn't it happening? And you might question whether or not you're even fit for it. And you might see how other people are already getting film jobs and they're succeeding and it can really, it can discourage you. But I'm telling you, do not get discouraged. That is the last thing you want to be feeling because at the end of the day, you chose film school for a reason and you have this passion. If you don't have the passion, figure out why you don't have the passion. A lot of people think they wanted to do film but then realize eh, maybe it actually isn't as fun as I thought it would be and then they choose to do something else. But if you still really believe you want to do film, then you can't get discouraged. Understand that you know comparison is the thief of joy. When you see other people succeeding, whatever, follow your own path. Film school was just the first step. It was not the answer. And if you follow all of my other pieces of advice, you will find yourself making money so you can pay the bills because uh, guess what? If you're trying to make films like I do, you're not gonna be making money. <laughs> Short films don't make money. Uh, commercials make money. Make commercials, that money. Get a job, figure out the real world for a bit maybe, 
keep your passion alive, work on the side with stuff, especially all this is if you're not already rich. If you're rich, then, you know, do whatever you want. I don't, I don't I'm not, my advice doesn't really apply to you because I'm not rich. So I'm giving advice to the rest of us, <laughs> but it's okay if you're rich, it's okay. A lot of film kids are rich anyway, <laughs> but don't get discouraged. Believe in yourself. It just cause things are not working out right now. Doesn't mean it's always going to be this way. Film, is something where you have to do it yourself. You have to really get out there. It's not gonna happen for you. So if you believe in yourself and you keep your passion alive and you're paying the bills and you're networking and meeting people, other people will follow. Other people will want to work with you because that's all any you know moderately successful film person feels is just, I just wanna like work with cool people. You know, film is so stressful. There's so many moving parts and I just, I wanna meet people that are passionate the same way I am but they happen to know things that I don't because I can't know everything. None of us can know everything. So, all right, I'm a director, writer, whatever, but I, I don't know cinematography. So I need to find a cinematographer or I don't know producing. So I need to do that and blah, blah, blah. That's, that's how it goes. So don't get discouraged. Stay focused, make stuff, keep making stuff. And eventually you'll get there. And there you have it. I hope that person who commented got some good answers out of this video as well. If you would like to see uh, more answers to questions, post them down below. Give me anything you want to know about the film world. I can also go over directing stuff, screenwriting things, editing. Uh, those are kind of my major fields. A little bit of acting as well. I did act in the past, um, but as well, check out the Patreon. Please support uh, the channel and also stay tuned for The Noise Next Door, my upcoming horror short film, best one yet. That'll be coming out sometime in June. So if you would like to be a part of that and support that film, then go to the Patreon and I would really appreciate it. Thank you very much for watching this video. Share it to the algorithm gods and I will see you in the next one.